Hey guys, this is Dr. Hub. In case you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe for updates. Hypertension and you're looking at its classification. So the first type of classification will be the primary. So there's primary or the essential or the idiopathic hypertension. So under this variety, this is the MC most common variety. And if you look at the cause, it is not known. So it is unknown. Next is we move on to the secondary hypertension. So when you look at the secondary hypertension, it is usually it is correlatable and it has a definite cause. So there is a definite cause for it and it usually develops before 30 years and after 55 years. So it is before the 30 years. So it's before 30 years as well as greater than the 55 years. Next is we move on to the isolated systolic hypertension. So in terms of isolated systolic hypertension, so here what's happening is there is less than 130 by 80. So less than 130 and greater than or equal to 80 mm Hg. So this is the feature. Then lastly we move on to something known as the white coat hypertension. So what is the white coat hypertension? White coat hypertension so here in white coat hypertension the office blood pressure is uh, greater than or equal to 140 by 90 so this will be the office blood pressure greater than 140 by 90 mmhg and this is on three occasions greater than or equal to three separate offices separate office visit and then there is another condition where there is greater than or equal to two blood pressure measurements so greater than or equal to two BP measurements and this is taken outside the office. So this is taken outside office. It's taken outside the office and they are at less than 140 by 90 mmHg and frequently using the home blood pressure monitoring. So frequently using the home blood pressure, home BP monitoring. Next is there is no evidence of hypertension target organ damage and here there is no evidence of hypertensive target organ damage target organ damage. To learn and grow daily like this please do subscribe.